Let's look at the MapReduce execution model as it was diagrammed in the original research paper that described the framework. So the execution model in the abstract sense looks like this. You have input, which is sharded into groups arbitrarily. The mapper is applied to each, perhaps in parallel, which yields intermediate key value pairs where keys may be repeated in any arbitrary pattern. Then, all of these intermediate key value pairs are grouped by key, meaning all the values with the same key are grouped together. So that's why we see this grouped layer as the third level um, of data in this pipeline. And then the reducer is applied to each of these. Now the reason that each mapper and reducer is represented as a separate circle is to indicate not that it does a different thing, but that it could run independently of all the other mappers and reducers. So it may actually be the case in practice that the same machine handles multiple different parts. The same machine could run the mapper and the reducer on some different data. But the point is that by keeping them conceptually separate, it's up to the system to decide which computer runs which map or which reduce on which shard of data. So this is the abstract execution model that somebody needs to use in order to implement a map reduction, which means a mapper and a reducer that go together to compute some output. What actually happens in the parallel execution implementation is that there are multiple tasks, perhaps running on different machines, each of which either runs some mapping or some reducing and it's often the case that multiple shards are handled at the same task sequentially, so that the total amount of work in each task is roughly the same. And a task in this case is a Unix process running on some machine. So as you can see in this case, a reduced task is handling three different keys, K2, K4, and K5, which is applying the same reduce function to each of these blocks, and then it finishes. So as this is running, there's a map phase, what's called a shuffle phase, which uses some partitioning function to decide which keys go to which task. And then when all of the keys that go to this task, which are in this case K2, K4, and K5 come together, then it's up to the reducer to sort and group those values by their key. So this shuffling part includes the partitioning function that sends um, key value pairs from mappers to reducers, and also the sorting and grouping that happens in the reducer. And the reduce phase actually runs the reducer on each set of values for a given key. There are certain assumptions that are being made under MapReduce that allow it to divide up the work in this way. So the following constraints are imposed. The mapper must be equivalent to applying a deterministic pure function to each input independently. This is important because then the system can decide how to divide up the total input data among the different mappers without worrying that it'll get a different answer depending on how it partitions up the input. The reducer must be equivalent to applying a deterministic pure function to the sequence of values for each key. Similar reasons apply. So the benefits of using these functional programming constraints is that when a program contains only pure functions, Call expressions can be evaluated in any order, they can be evaluated lazily or even in parallel. And we get referential transparency. A call expression can be replaced by its value without changing the program. And that applies to MapReduce in the following ways. We get consistent results, regardless of how the computation is partitioned up among different tasks. And if it's the case that one task fails, for instance, because a machine's hard drive breaks, we can recompute the results without getting a different answer. Or if it turns out that we've already computed part of the answer in a previous run, then the MapReduce system can cache those results and give them back to us without having to recompute them because it knows via referential transparency that it will get the same answer. 